Hey guys, welcome back to Nail Obsession Designs. Today's nail set is based on two of the Powerpuff Girl nail stamping plates from MoU London. I'm very excited about this one, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the background for the cover art here is white, so I decided to just do the pinky and thumb in white. Pretty much all of the other colors that I'm using for the actual nail art is from the Born Pretty collection on Amazon. These bottles are tiny, but you get a really good selection for a very reasonable price. And these are what the actual plates look like. I believe there was four or five plates in this collection, but by the time I got around to purchasing them, these were the only two left. With that being said, you don't need the whole collection. You can really do a lot with just one plate. For the second plate, I'm only going to be using the zigzags in the bottom left hand corner for texture on the backgrounds. So for that, I went ahead and pulled three complementary but lighter shades of the original three colors that I showed you. I'm just going to layer these over the darker colors with the zigzag shape, but don't worry, I'll show you exactly what I mean in the video. The Pacifica white with that gold shimmer is quite sheer, so I'm just going to use the SE Blanc as a white base coat so it looks opaque. While the white base coat is drying, I'm just going to color in the middle three nails with those darker shades. I thought it would be cute to do it in the same order as the cover art, so it's going to be Bubbles, Blossom, and Buttercup. And then I'm going to stamp over each one with that zigzag design using the corresponding color in the lighter shade. And just because I'm using a lot of the Born Pretty collection, I went ahead and used the black for the outline as well. I'm going to be using the Ice Cube Stamper to do each of the Powerpuff Girl stamps, but because I only have three of these, I'm going to have to use the Monocle Stamper to do the texture layer. The majority of the stamping and filling in the stamps process is pretty tedious, so I'm just going to speed the rest of this video up and put some music in the background.
So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!